What's up my fellow trash engineers? Welcome back to another video. Uh, it seems my phone has gone through an update, or at least the YouTube on my phone has gone through an update. So there's a, a change the way things are made. So I'm, um, it's something new, something new's going on. Anyway, uh, don't mind if you hear any noises that my mother has a friend over. Either way, uh, today, as you saw in the title, we are reviewing, uh, what is it, Lear? No. Voyager, uh, The Last Night, uh, Megatron. Wonderful figure for what it is. It is not, uh, what, what's that other figure called? I can't rem I can never remember. Either way, uh, we have a wonderful, uh, painting scheme here. Uh, bits of darker gray with a bit of yellow uh, all the way through. But, you know, I've never heard anyone talk about this, all right? Let's just forget about the figure for a second, all right? Let's talk about this. Oof, hopefully you don't hear any of the background noise. This sword, no, one's else no one has ever talked about, as far as I know. Then again, I've only seen like three... Not even that, but I've probably only seen two reviews of this guy. And he, his sword, is made of a translucent red plastic. They just paint dark gunmetal gray. It's weird. It's weird. I don't get it. Why paint, why make this red a clear red plastic just to make it gunmetal gray? I, they've made several guns and other swords uh, with a similar metal or plastic because we all know, as you can see right here, this plastic does not last long. And this is supposed to be a figure for children or at least younger uh, kids. So they're going to break it as soon as they get their hands on it, mo most likely. Okay, just a little tangent there, all right? It's weird. I don't know why. It's going to break easily because it is not... It's durable, you know, for what it is, but, you know, it's not the best. It's not the best. It's just painted clear plastic. Eh, whatever. Anyway, uh, the figure itself is very durable. I have not experience much or if any paint chipping if you do see any uh don't tell me about it because i like the disp disposition of having a perfect figure in my hands hey how you doing <laughs> Ooh, ooh. i like the the way this video is going so far so uh ignore that little interruption uh the tripod is having a bit of a fit uh, it seems okay yeah, i don't know why i'm funnier this time around all right so all right i'm gonna have to go farther on my desk sorry about that sorry if you saw my face let's hope i don't look bad all right but you're not here for my face you're here for the figure and Anyway, uh, so far so good. It's a wonderful figure. It's pretty good, all right? Only accessory, this thing, who cares? Anyway, all right, let's get into articulation. Okay, the head is on a ball joint. Uh, I think, yeah, it's only on a ball joint. Also, you gotta make sure you have to watch out for these horns, these horns. Uh, so, it is Hasbro. This is from Hasbro, so there, it's gonna be it's like 20 it was 20 dollars all right it's a 20 dollar transformer it's gonna get loose especially at the hips that's what all transformers and hasbro figures have in common they can never get the hips right anyway ball joint the head swivel here and then this can fold out bam hand joint swivel hand joint hand joint that's it nothing Hinge joint, hinge joint swivel, one bend at the knee, one bend at the 
calf. Don't see that much unless it's an animal. And then you have a super pivot. Yeah. All that for a transformation that's pretty good. Anyway, oh, let's see what we got here. Anyway, we have the... I, I, forgot, I don't know. I forgot the name for this. Was it? Uh, uh, plasma. Energon. Gun thingy. Whatever. It's on his arm now. All right. We got a, a teeny bit of a tease of this back in, uh, uh, what was it? Revenge of the Fallen? Well, I'll go grab him. See? Yeah, because these guys aren't G1, all right? They're not the original Transformers. So you see here, he has a little bit of a tease for an actual cannon like the G1, all right? I don't have a G G1 guy, all right? Anyway, uh, so far so good. Uh, articulation, fine. Uh, painting and sculpting, amazing, of course. Anyway, uh, let's get right down to the transformation, shall we? First, hands. Then, gun, fold. All right, here's what I like to do. Fold this out, then fold this out. Fold, fold. You gotta watch out for these. It's probably best to leave those out, huh? I always change it up. It's fun to transform things like that. You remember the basic one that's in the instructions and you just boop, 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 fold it. That's how you use that hinge and you gotta peg it because there's a peg on the wing, as you can see right here. Anyway, fold all the way, fold on peg. All right, there we go, good, good, good. All right, unhinge, unpeg, because there's a peg, there's the peg. All right, there's a peg. All right, you're gonna watch out, pull that out. Watch out for this. Fun fact, based on the sword, which is a, based on an African executioner sword, because, uh, you know, curved neck chop. I like to think of this as a hood rather than just straight up kibble. It's a hood, he's an executioner. That's what he does. Uh, uh, that's my uh, little spiel there. This is a hood. Because this is an executioner sword, and he just generally has the colors of an executioner. All right, all right, all right. Anyway, uh, fold these back, fold this back, and then uh, fold these. There's gonna be a lot of adjusting at this part. That's what usually happens. Put that hole. Put the gun. Put the gun in the hole. See? Put the gun in the hole. All right. Then fold that on top. And there's a peg. You usually just goes in there anyway whatever and make sure these are nice and tight all right then fold these out hinge these so like a butterfly not like this all right like this and it shows out all right now's for the head because i forgot to do the head when i did the back all right man all right put the chin and the divot then fold extend this and then put the head in the hole. Bam, that's done, there's the cockpit. All right, now we got this, spread the legs. Uh, that's what she said. I mean, that's what he said. Anyway, put those there, and there, and then wait for the legs. Boop, there we go, that's how you do it. And then make sure to put the legs in the grooves, all right? Put the legs in the grooves, because right there, there's a groove, Put the knee pad in the groove, all right? Right over, right where this line is, huh? See this line? Right there, right where my nail is, this line. Put that in the line, because that's pretty good. All right, then make sure it looks like a plane. Does it look like a plane yet? Yeah. Anyway, uh, first you're gonna put this little groove on this little tab, and you wanna push it and plug it in. Sadly, I broke uh, one of the tabs on on this side, so I just kind of like 
peg and then hope for the best it looks like it does on the other side because on this side do the same thing here but you can also tab it in tab it in so it's extra secure make sure this is still there and there we go you got the jet it's all done easy easy transformation if you want there's a tab right there doesn't look as good but whatever it's, i'm still annoyed that this is red clear plastic i mean they use it on the head for a light piping feature but why is it just cost efficient that's got to be it because it's cheap plastic all right that's probably it i answered my own question anyway here we go we got the plane body of oak boot up yeah pretty good if you want to use it as a weapon there you go it's not a good weapon but it's a weapon nonetheless now hey look it's a pickaxe from minecraft mine diamonds i want to there we go yeah that's that's really fun to hold like this huh big hands big hands big big uh, gun anyway uh, same painting, except you got the engine here. I remember saying some uh, someone being like, "Oh, this is obviously like uh, some like cockpit or something like that." It was like something stupid, and they're like, "Oh, this is something stupid." No, it's clearly just an engine. Have you never seen an engine before? This is an engine. I'm pretty sure it was Prime versus Prime. He he's stupid. I don't care. Hey, come after me, Prime versus Prime. I'm coming for you. Not maliciously, I just poking a little fun at your incorrectness. Anyway, uh, there's the bottom, pretty good, all right. You still have a uh, robotic chest there. Uh, at least it's not as bad as uh, uh, the plesiosaur transformer from Planet X. I think that's the, that's the guys, those are the guys. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for this. Uh, I'll bring out, I'll bring out this guy for scale. I'm pretty sure everyone has this. I know this was harder to find because this is a good figure. It really is. But anyway, yeah, that's for scale in my hand. Anyway. Right, anyway, that was, uh, what was it? Last night, uh, Voyager uh voyager megatron I'm sorry i'm just reading all the names uh yeah i'd say it's a good figure it's really good for what it is it's not dragoon god i want dragoon god i want a third port party action figure i just want a third party transformers action figure anyway i'll get to that soon enough anyway uh yeah that was him. He was good. Liked the paint. Liked the articulation. Uh, if you haven't already, I'd recommend you get get him. Uh, definitely a good figure. I said that already. Uh, it's a good figure to get for like, you know, easy collectors. You know, casuals. As I am a very a very noticeable casual when it comes to everything, games, art, everything. Casual is my middle name. Anyway, all right, so far so good, that was Voyager, uh, Megatron from the last night, really good figure, quite good, if you, if you want like any obvious critiques of a figure like this, go to like a professional YouTuber, I, I'm not professional, I'm doing this for fun until I earn money. Anyway, with that segue from earning money, why don't you go and subscribe to me? Uh, if you made it this far, you have to subscribe, all right? Anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me what's your review next. I have all the time in the world. Anyway, uh, see you guys next Friday. I don't know. I'll probably review, review Doctor Who if I get there. Oops, I dropped the boy. I dropped him. Anyway, let's see you.